Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today's episode is going to be a lowrider. This is a viewer request. It has been requested quite a few times, and that's kind of weird. I don't know, sometimes the viewer requests, I get some really unique uh, requests, and I wouldn't say that this is a different thing, but I, just, I didn't really expect to see it requested as much as it has been, so... uh we're going to do that. I'm going to ramble on about a couple things here. Uh, we made it past 3,000 subs. Uh, this is one of my, I'm at 11 o'clock here, my time. Uh, 11 at night, by the way. And we're at 3,246. And man, that's that's amazing. Uh, I really wanted to do like a formal channel update, and I still think I'll do that eventually. Uh, maybe here in a couple days, but... Yeah, thanks for all the support. It has been absolutely crazy. We've gained like uh, 2,000 plus subs in less than two weeks. Uh, so yeah, this is just, this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got plenty more gaming videos coming your way. I've recently started a Beam NG series, which actually took off a lot better than I expected. Uh, I was a little afraid of, you know, how you guys would take it. Uh, like I said, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to go ahead and, Put this out there. I am not exclusive to Scrap Mechanic. That is not the only game that I'm going to play. I, I need a healthy mix of other games because I don't want to burn myself out. I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it and burn you guys out because I think eventually there will be a point in time where you know there is. You know, I, I want my builds to be. I don't want to just throw stuff out there at you guys. I, I think that's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, that 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 series has started over there. I've still got some other things going on. Uh, some cool things. Unfortunately, uh, you're seeing this video on a Friday. We're going to have to switch it up. Normally, I've been doing like one or two Scrap Mechanic videos during the week, and I've been doing a Friday-Saturday Scrap Mechanic. This week, we're going to do Scrap Mechanic on Friday, which by the time this video goes up, it'd be today. And then we're going to do a Beam NG video tomorrow. And reason being, I've got to work tomorrow. And that sucks. <laughs> that is normally my day off. That's normally one of my big recording days. And they told me today, it's like, hey, guess what? You get to work tomorrow. You know, congratulations. And yeah, that was I was bummed out about that. But um, so we're gonna do a beam beam ng video for tomorrow, being Saturday, and then on Sunday we'll have another scrap mechanic. I think on Sunday we're gonna finish up. A, I know I talked about doing uh, finishing up a trophy truck track or an off road track for those. And that was supposed to be today, but I just don't have, I don't quite have the time that it's going to take to make a, you know, a, a good track. So we're going to do that on Sunday. I've got other big scrap mechanic projects planned. I've got other gaming videos planned. I've got just a whole lot of things. So like I said, thanks for the love and support and hope you join us on those. Now off to the task at hand. I should probably quit talking about the channel. Let's talk a little bit more about this low rider. I think we're going to go for, like I've, I've Googled up. Uh, just low rider picks and it's pretty consistent some of the picks that you see and it's like this you know I, I don't really like the boxy vehicles that they use I wanted to go with a little bit more of a classic look and I'll, I'll kind of show you as we go along I'll kind of explain a little bit more about my thinking on that so I need to do the front end here hmm front end wise we're gonna I'm, at first I thought about making this bumper actually like even with the front, but I think I want it to hang out. Um, we're going for a mix of the new and the old, and normally, well, low riders normally aren't like new cars, but uh, I keep saying new, old. I'm talking like what I want here is like a 50 style car with a little bit of a, a mix of like you know a lot of times you see like a 60s or 70 70s uh, style cars for the low riders. So I think we're gonna make it exaggerated a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna like make the wheel well actually poke out on each side. I think that would look cool. Uh, it is going to be a convertible. I don't think I'm going to do a full top. Uh, uh, the trunk's going to, I have a feeling the trunk's going to be really busy in the first place. I don't think I'm going to be able to fill, fit in like a top. Um, I've seen it done uh, a couple times. I think actually, who was it? Diesel, Des uh, Diesel Designs had a, uh, had like a convertible or something the other day. And uh, I think I watched a little bit of the video and he had a, he had a pretty neat, concept or design about you know the thing uh, the the roof coming out of the trunk and folding over I, i'm not going to do that uh, that was you know, like I said it's his thing you know it was a cool video um i think what i'm going to do i'm going to need spots because i got to figure out how these hydraulics are going to work and i've had a couple options i thought about maybe doing uh 
Rockets, but I think that's going to be, I think it's going to be silly. I don't, honestly, I, I don't picture myself. That's like the last ditch. Like, that's the last thing. If I can't get anything else to work, I, I would use something like that. But um, I'm I'm going in between using the electric motors and controllers. Controllers might be more of the more it might be the more logical option. Uh, electric motors sometimes when you want them to like come back down and rest. Uh, I need these things to go back into position, and I want to be able to control all four corners. So, uh, where does this fender need to come out? Got sidetracked there for a second. I had to leave the uh, room. So, anyways, I was, I was explaining a bit about how I wanted to do the, um, the hydraulics. Uh, I'm thinking that controllers are going to be the better option because I need all four corners to uh, be independent. And like, I'm not doing like a low rider where you know the front, all the front lifts and the back lifts. I want you know if I want to just lift the left front, you know I can do that. If I want to lift the right front or the right front, I can do that. If I want to lift the left front and the right rear, you know, I, I want to be able to do all that. Uh, I think controllers, and controllers, I'll have them probably sitting in the back. And you can go back in there and customize the settings however you want. If you wanted to lift higher, you know, you just go in there, bump up the numbers. You want it, it's going too high for you, just go in there and turn them down. So I'm going to make the, uh, I think the trunk opening would be something that's going to be cool. And I think I'm going to try, to, these compact ve vehicle builds are, they get requested a lot, but they are kind of challenging. Uh, one thing that I'm still have many questions about it is what wheel I'm going to use. Uh, I don't know. The small wheel might be too small and the big wheel might be too big. So I, I really don't know at the moment. Man, that, that purple looks absolutely awesome. Uh, color wise, I guess I should have discussed this earlier. We're going to go with just a really weird, I mean, just, I just picture, when I picture low riders, I picture like really out there colors and I think this purple we'll do uh, like the body's gonna be purple I'm not gonna touch the bumpers the bumpers look cool because it's about as close as you're gonna get to silver and then I think where the mirror like any mirrors and where the w front windshield I think I'm gonna do that white and I'm also gonna do the interior white white or black I think white uh, maybe we'll do like the floorboards black but I think the actual seats and maybe the dash will do all that white I think that would look cool so not sure what I'm going to do here in the front, though. Grill-wise, I want to change it up. Uh, you can see there on the left side, I had a prototype. Uh, a lot of people don't, like, they, they question why I use all metal. And to me, I just love the texture on it. I like the way it, I love the rivets and just the, the overall look. That Those other, I don't like having to piece together my builds block by block with those other, uh, I think it's the duck uh, blocks. Uh like they have holes in them, and you've got to turn them, and just to get them to match. And I, to me, it's a pain. And it, be honest with you, I don't, want, I don't like the way they look. Like you can see it occasionally. Uh, I might go over there here in a second and look at it, but I don't like the way they look. And for something like this, I don't want to use a wood. Wood would look like if weight was really that big of a concern. Yes, I would use wood, but I don't think weight's going to be a concern on this vehicle. And man, that that looks cool. Uh, I need to think of something I want to do in the front. Now, I might use the duck, uh, maybe I can use that block, like, for, uh, I think I can use it for the grill, to be honest with you, I think that would look good. Maybe we'll put the lights on the side. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Thinking, for most of these pictures, it looks like they have, like, dual headlights, so we'll have one, two, we'll have those here, I'll turn those around. And then the rest of it will just be that silver grill. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and paint these. Paint, paint. Paint and paint. Uh, I need a. I need what? Wait, what piece do I want to? I think maybe this one would be better. Let's see. Let's stick this in there and come on. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is going to be the way I'm going to need to go with that. So I'm going to fill in all these gaps and we'll move on to the to something. I'm not sure what I'm going to move on to next. Hmm. Okay. I was a little mistaken in how I wanted to do these hydraulics. I I built like this whole underside first, and I, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I'm cutting into it here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the uh, pipe work, and it's gonna like go all the way to the back where the wheels should actually sit, and that's that's how we're gonna lift. 
and apologize if you can hear my dog. It's they're going crazy at the moment. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think how far back does this need to be. I, I mean, this is the only way I can think of it. I think the controllers. The more I think about it, the, I, like I've been debating, you know, trying to do something different. But I really think the controllers are going to be the best way. I, I'm pretty sure y'all are going to come up with some good suggestions on maybe how I should have done it, and that's that's perfectly fine. I I like listening to all my viewers. It's always fun. The good and the bad. Uh, most times, I, I've gotten pretty good about ignoring the bad. I've had quite a few very very nasty comments, and I was like, oh, aren't you a pleasant person? But it is the internet, and that's just kind of the way the way the internet is. To be honest with you. So, yeah, you kind of have to have a little bit of a thick skin, but I like suggestions, so, you know, keep firing away at them. It's all good. Hmm. I've been looking at this for a couple minutes here, and I, I was debating, I, I thought about maybe not using shocks or suspension pieces, but I don't see the point in that. Oh my god, that, that, that's, wow, that's really too big. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. I'm going to have to use that small wheel. Man, I did not, I, I can't, that just, it drives me nuts about the wheels and scrap mechanic. Can we not get like a medium size, like I want a really big like monster truck style wheel and I want a medium size, like that small wheel to me is just too small and these are just huge. Um, Yeah, that's just, that's not going to work at all. I'm going to have to use the small ones. It might look a little strange. Maybe once we put everything together, you won't really notice how small the wheels are. But I can't I can't even picture using those big wheels at all. Uh, I need something that's going to actually set down in them. Uh, this vehicle is going to set as low as possible to the ground. I don't want it to drag because I want to be able to drive it. So that's why I thought about putting the... That's why I'm going to put the suspension pieces on. Uh, I'm going to do the front and I'm going to take it off the lift and see if I need to add a... Uh, Pipe piece or not? Um, yeah, that that might be too low. I'm not 100 sure here. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab controllers and we're gonna do the front here. Okay, this thing has been really odd. I've been getting lag off of this, and I don't know really why. And oh, there we go. Um. I hope this thing isn't really laggy. Uh, the only other thing in this world is the trash truck, and that thing, uh, it had issues. I had a lot of people suggestion, like a lot of people, uh, I think it had to do with the uh, the interaction between the dumpster and the, the trash truck, and I had some people suggest certain things about it, saying that, oh, well, you needed to have the forks go all the way to the back or something, and, and they don't realize, like, I I've, I cut out a lot of footage there. I had done that several times. I was still getting the same result of the lag, and... No, that doesn't look good. I thought about adding some more fender there. Let's let's keep it the way it was. Uh, will wise, I think we're gonna paint these white. I think they will look good white. Just kind of offset the purple because the purple is really it's a really loud purple to me. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I guess I can stack all the controllers in the back. Uh, since I have I have quite a bit of trunk space, um, that's the one good thing here. Let's uh let's add one more uh, pipe piece and just see where it sits. There we go. All right, people, we are going to um, let me go ahead and hook a couple of these up and just see if it works. Um, these controllers, I I have mixed results with them. Sometimes like. They don't seem like they carry enough power, and sometimes they do. Like, uh, did I screw that up? Let's see. Let's reverse it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's yeah. That's a little too much. Um, that looks cool, but uh, I need it to actually still set on the wheel. Let's let's try forty five here and see what happens. Forty five on both sides. That's a lot closer. See, and that's even a little exaggerated. That might be too far. Uh. My thought is being able to click those buttons and smash them. I've got it set on the fastest setting, which it's still my... I don't think it's going to hop. I really think we would need a... Either I can use a rocket, which I really don't want to use because it just... I don't want it to be ridiculous. Or, like, it would be really nice to have a piston to be able to... like. And if you can make it pop real fast, you could really make this thing hop. Um, that looks cool. I mean, it's going to look cool once we get the, the front ones on. 
But I guess it, maybe if you click the button fast enough and kind of danced around on the buttons, you could maybe get it to rock some. But I don't like it. It's not going to be like one of those ridiculous lowrider videos that you see where the things are just absolutely like flying in there and tearing apart the vehicle. But I mean, I think it's gonna, I think it's going to get the job done. I mean, the purpose it's there, but it's going to be really cool once we get a, a couple of different tools. That's why I'm a little bummed out by the recent update, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. Let's see, is that, okay, I had to think, uh, I had to do the front design just a wee bit different, uh, just really I just added a curb pipe in there, that way I can get the bearing to make it turn. Uh, a while ago I was talking about the updates, and I know a lot of people have talked about the update, like say, hey, there's an update out, you should do a video on it, and I'm going to be really frank, I, the update did nothing for me, like it really didn't, I don't. Like, I, I even play music, musical instruments in real life, but I, I mean, there's, there's gonna be some really cool stuff, uh, Diesel Designs, I think somebody else did something, uh, somebody did the Mario theme, that was really cool, Diesel did something today, I think it was like the John Cena theme, I, I, I haven't watched the video, but I saw the title in my, uh, s subscription boxes, or the box, and then I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool, but that just, that's not really me, I don't want, I that doesn't appeal to me that much, to be honest with you. I really would have loved to have some tools and maybe some more cosmetic blocks, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. Hmm. I, I think those look okay. Uh, initially, my thinking with the... Uh, let's see if I can put something back here. No, I, I, can't, I don't want to stick a light back there. It's going to look odd. I wanted to have the tail lights on the uh, fins back here. But it just didn't look right. Like, sticking the light in there, it made the fin way too big. So I think the size... Let's see, what happens when we paint that white? I think the size it is now... I mean, I could add one more point to it, but as soon as I added one more point, it just it made it too big. It really, like, honestly it didn't look right to me. Let's see. I'm trying to think what I need to add here. Uh, let's do... I'm going to do some engine detail. Maybe I should add a bar here. That... Nah, now, see... You know it would be really cool to have? It would be really cool to have, like, a half block. Uh, sometimes when... Like, I want to add these extra pieces, but when I stick it in there, it just looks way too big. Like, that was, you know, the case there. You know, it would have been nice if that was a half block. Maybe I would have stuck that. Maybe something like this. And I can do, like, a, a mirrors here, and that would be good. But yeah, I'm really digging the way the uh, the car kind of sets out. Uh, at first, I thought maybe doing the flat sides, but I really like the defenders come out and they go along with the side steps. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and make this thing. I'm gonna continue to. I want to add details. Like I said, these compact. I get requested a lot for like compact cars, and it's not like they're not fun to make. I, lo I love making cars and scrap mechanics. Uh, they're a little weird, the little challenge. As you can see, like, the, the little, the small wheels here, stuff like that, it, like, it bugs me because I want it to kind of be to scale, and that's why, you know, like, I've, I've had a, a lot of requests for, I think it's a drift car, and, you know, I think I'm going to take on that request. Um, I haven't started working on it, by the way, so if, don't expect a video here in the next day or two, but, uh, yeah, I, I I think I'm going to try to take a couple of these compact cars. It's just, I, I've always kind of avoided them because to me, they're kind of weird to make. Like I've always gone for bigger vehicles and I think, yeah, I think I should probably spread it out and maybe do some compact builds. Uh, we're going to make a little bit of the engine come out the front here and make it look a little bit more like a hot rod, low rider, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, so I think we're going to take some of those on. Uh, like I said, tomorrow, or not tomorrow's, uh, Sunday's build is going to be the trophy truck track, and then I'll get an update, I'll get a download for that, and let you guys, you know, play around that. I, if I have the time, like I said, with work being as stupid and crazy as it is, um, maybe I can add another vehicle in there, that way when y'all download it, you'll have plenty to do there, and oh, I missed that spot. But yeah, I'm uh, trying to, you know, like I said, give y'all, give you guys as much content as much things to go play around with because i've noticed a lot of people are downloading my worlds now i get comments about it every day I'm, I'm really glad like last weekend we actually got more scrap mechanic than i intended i was you know probably going to do like three episodes kind of like normal but i wound up doing that uh episode just to show you how to download my worlds because it's been happening a lot now and it's it's really cool to me that people are going in there and playing in my worlds and 
um, you know, like I said, I, I love the feedback. I love the thought of that. So I need to, you know, I like to give you guys things to do. So that's that's the thought we're doing that track for our next build. All right, folks. Let's uh, we're we're about ready to give this thing a try. I think uh, I really like the way it looks. It actually, came out. You know, for being a compact car, it actually looks really good. Uh, uh, the wheels bug me a bit. I will say that, but I will get over them. They don't look as bad as I thought they were going to look. I mean, they're still small. <laughs> don't don't get me don't get me wrong. They're they're really small, but um, you know, it is what it is. And this thing actually, it actually turns. A lot better than I thought it was going to. I figured I, I'm still like we're gonna bottom out in this thing. The front and the back are gonna hit. Uh, I imagine we if we try to go up hills, you know, certain hills, this thing's gonna slow down some. Uh, let's see, let's hop up here. I bet you this thing catches. Yeah, it catches a bit, and oh, that's not good. Oh, nope, see, yep, that's what I was talking about. But yeah, I mean, it is a low rider. It has no clearance, so it's kind of expected that this is going to happen. I'm going to have to get out and get this thing on the lift. But yeah, that's cool. Um, uh, we're going to test out. I'm trying to think where do I want to. How do I want to do the hydraulics here? Let's let's go take this out, uh, drive it around a little bit more, and then we'll start playing around with the hydraulics. Uh, I tested them a bit while ago. I'm probably not going to show that footage. I want to kind of save that for the you know the grand finale here as we're testing this thing out um, but yeah I'm really satisfied let's go find a place to do this um, maybe we'll take it on the other side of the map or something get away from the garbage truck uh, this looks like a good spot and let's uh let's open this thing completely up I forgot that you know like I said I've got this whole thing completely opens up so there's the doors, trunk, and hood. Hood's got, you know, the de engine detail's pretty good. I had to actually delete a couple uh, pieces in there. Uh, when I started doing the front hydraulics, the bars were catching, and it wasn't letting it go up all the way. So I changed that up a bit, but that looks okay. You know, I should probably paint those buttons because it need to match the interior here. But yeah, like I said, if you like this video, if you'd like to like it, subscribe. Uh, everything's going really, really cool, really good. I mean, I'm excited. Uh, I wish I could get out more videos to you guys, to be honest with you. But, you know, eh, fun work things, fun adult things. It's not, well, not really fun. It's just kind of what I have to do. But I will try to get as much content out to you guys. Like I said, it's not always going to be scrap mechanic. We'll talk uh, We'll talk more about that in a channel update. I'll, I'll kind of tell you what's going down and give you the... Give me the give me the lowdown on everything. Like I said, you know, this is not the only game that I play, so I'm just let you know keep that out there. You know, I do play other things. Uh, these things take a long time, and but I'm I'm just I'm ultra glad that you guys enjoy it. It's thrilling to me. Uh, let's see, I think I've got all those set right. Here's the uh, webbing. Uh, I guess we call it the webbing. Not overly complicated, but it's complicated enough. Uh, I've got I think seven buttons in here. Here's the hydraulic systems. Um, I call it hydraulic systems, really just a bearing system. But yeah, let's see. I think everything's hooked up. We should be good to go here. Let's hop in. Let's try to make this thing dance around a bit. Let's see. I'm trying to remember which which button. There we go. Okay, so I'm hitting two buttons together. That lifts the, both on the back. Like I said, each button controls just one end, and now I'm. That's actually really disturbing. Look, it looks like my car was twerking. There we go. We lift up on all four here. Actually, still somewhat drives, but yeah, like I said, uh, the first three buttons are gonna be your uh, like your hood, your doors, and your trunk. Everything else, like I said, you just gotta go if you're gonna be playing around with this. Just one button on each for each end, so or one button for each corner. Cause that's that's absolutely that's cool. Uh, it doesn't hop. Um, that's only thing I'm a little disappointed about. It. You know, even even when I'm clicking these buttons fast, I have the controller set to the fastest setting. Um, I think electric motor could have made it uh, could have made it hop, but it's the return that I was worried about. Like, I was probably gonna have to hold the button down, you know, the opposite way to make the make it return to its normal position, and then I think it was gonna even try to go up into the car a bit. Uh, controller is the best thing until we get a piston, of course. And but yeah, this thing's actually really uh, it's really cool. It came out really good, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up for download. Uh, 
people ask me about the garbage truck. It is in this world, so if you want to go in there and mess with that, that's going to be in there. I will be adding stuff. I think this world here, you know, I'll slowly work on it. I think this is where I'm going to put my everyday vehicles. And I get asked a lot about, like, compact vehicles, uh, maybe the drift car. Yeah, I'm going to stick different things in here. I'm going to do kind of like what I did with the other worlds. So, you know, I want to fill it up with plenty of toys that you guys can go in there and play with. And I think that's going to be it. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode. Like I said, tomorrow's Beam NG, and then Sunday we'll roll around to some more scrap mechanics. So, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.